Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me. So today is Vlogmas Day 21, and you all, we are almost at the finish line. I will admit, I missed yesterday, and it's mostly because, well, I'm kind of running out of stuff to share with you all. <laughs> I need to get to sewing again. But I will share with you today some of the things that I picked up from Three Little Birds. Now, Three Little Birds is a shop over here near D.C., um, it's in Hyattsville, Maryland. It's a fabric shop and they have yarn, all kinds of amazing fabrics, of course. And they also have this back room for classes or for groups to meet. I've been going there a little more lately because, well, one of my sewing groups is putting together a memorial quilt for one of my sew sisters that had passed away last year. And so I'm definitely helping out with that. And that means that I'm spending more time in the fabric shop, which means that I'm spending more money. <laughs> it was nice to be able to be with my fellow Sew Sisters that I really haven't seen since COVID started. And we had a little gift exchange and I actually gave them this gift right over here. <laughs> Isn't that the funnest cup ever? I mean, that thing is like this big. I mean, it's just, it's the longest cup. And I thought it was really fun that it was one of the yellow tape measures. So extra bonus for any person who loves to sew. By the way, I believe that they still have a couple. So I'll link to this in the description box below in case you're interested in grabbing one for yourself. Also in my gift exchange, I did add a couple of rum balls. <laughs> You are, if you've never made a rum ball, let me just tell you, they're the most amazing no-bake treat ever. And this year I've been experimenting with flavors. So it's basically just vanilla wafers. Um, you crush them up, you add nuts in there, you add some alcohol to wet it all up, you form it into balls, and then you roll it in powdered sugar and that's it. <laughs> and they're great frozen. The flavors that I've been experimenting with and probably my favorite to date has got to be the margarita balls because I made them using lime flavored wafers, some walnuts, and tequila. Mm, you all, they were... Um, <laughs> I almost drooled. <laughs> They're so good. Um, I'm actually going to be making more. I'm going to be making some dulce de leche and rum and then some chocolate and whiskey, I think. So I'm gonna be trying out those flavors. You know, I should I should bring you along for that ride. I think I'll do that. When I actually make them, I'll share I'll share the process with you in case you're interested in making some no bake boozy treats. <laughs> I got a bit off topic there, so let me let me kind of bring it back to the fabric shop. I did pick up a couple of items. I'm surprised that I didn't walk out of there with more this time around, but I was good, you all. I was good. I've got a lot of fabric here, and I didn't add... I only added one more piece. <laughs> I added this piece! Now, if you've been following Project Runway, you may remember Katie Cortman on the show. <laughs> well, this is one of her fabrics. It's called Party Rainbows, and it's a cotton linen. And it's actually a really beautiful weight. It's, it's got some heft to it. I think it's really nice. I purchased two yards of this for $25 a yard. And I was actually thinking that these would be perfect for, well, I think it'd be a really cute summer set, like shorts and a tank top, um, because I can probably squeeze that out of two yards and they might be pushing it. Maybe I can do shorts and a tank top with some color blocking or something. How can you not smile when you see this fabric? So let me know in the comments below if, you, if you've been watching Project Runway and if you actually saw the fabric line that Katie Cortman released. I really did like it a lot. I was happy to be able to support both Katie Cortman and Three Little Birds. While I was there, I also picked up this pattern. Now this is a Sally Tomato pattern, and this is the KC Duffel. Now this duffel is 16 inches wide, nine inches high, and seven inches deep. But the reason why I picked this up is because I really love the um, leather details that they have around the zipper there. And then also how they handled these handles coming around the bottom and up the top. 
I was actually thinking that because I've been making more hats, I would like to kind of leave this area open if it's big enough so I can slide a hat right in there when it's not in use. Also, what I really like about this one is that it uses things that I haven't done yet in bag making. So I haven't done this like little um, leather trim around there and I haven't made shaped handles. So I am really looking forward to making this pattern. I also think it'd be really fun to do some color blocking with different color leathers. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. I'm probably not gonna get to that until January because well, the month is almost over. Well, that's what I've been up to with Three Little Birds and actually it's one of my favorite places to shop. This video right over here actually tells you about some of the shops that I like to patron because they have excellent service and then one of them that I refuse to shop at anymore because of their horrific service. Spend your money where you feel valued and until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.